Hello and welcome back to Kevin Can't Play Today. Today, Kevin Can't Play Bomber Crew. Uh, so, yeah, we uh, had an issue with the uh, XCOM episode today. Uh, apparently it stopped recording after the first couple minutes, and so it was an entire wasted episode. Um, good news is, for anybody paying attention, that uh, everybody got some good kills in, everybody's got fancy new weapons and stuff, and all that, and the mission went really well, and nobody died. So, <laughs> we'll jump back into it on Wednesday. I'll uh, put out another episode of it. Um, just feeling not up to uh, grinding through a whole other episode tonight. Um, and I'd planned on doing another Bomber Crew uh, video. Uh, show you the uh, U.S. Army Air Force side of the thing. Now, this is a DLC. So, uh, you have to get the full DLC and everything to, uh, have these missions and this plane. Uh, we have a B-17 Flying Fortress. Go take a look at it. Uh, advantages to the Fortress over the, uh, Lancaster is it does have a lot more guns. And they are all auto, you know, auto-fed for ammo. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Got the tail gun, lower ball turret, mid upper turret. And you got your two uh, waist gunners on either side. Now eventually we can add uh, guns on the front in the uh, left and right cheeks, um, but those are expensive. Uh, we don't really have much with this one. Now I'm gonna take a take a look at it though. It's pretty plain, um, as Fortress always is. Not my favorite bomber of the war, but uh, definitely one of the best, uh, probably the, probably actually the best looking one. Though I'm awful partial to the B-24 uh, um, myself. And for smaller bombers, I love the B-25. Um, but yeah, we haven't done a whole lot with this one. We haven't even flown a single mission. Um, there's really nothing unlocked. Everything's pretty locked up. I guess I could have gotten extinguishers. Uh, I'll get that after this mission, I think. Uh, we added one equipment slot. I uh, got nothing for the fuselage yet, and nothing for survival. Those need to still be unlocked. Um, nice thing is the uh, Air Force campaign uh, or the, yeah, uh, gives you a little bit more um, to start with in terms of uh, crew and experience, you actually start with uh, uh, 2,000 research points, which gets you uh, quite a ways in. You don't have to grind quite as much to uh, start getting gear. Um, however, money is still always an, an issue. Yeah, we'll get right into things. Uh, not really much to do other than that. Uh, there are no tutorial missions for the American side, so uh, this will be the very first mission with this plane. Uh, the plane is called the Boomerang Bus. Hopefully it keeps coming back like its namesake. Alright, go uh, take out an ammo dump at Tunis. Hopefully. <laughs> at least that's the intention. Everybody's still level one, but they, uh, most of them have some experience already. Uh, I think Anderson, we're going to want to move you to the top gunner spot for this one. Let's hold on. Nah, you know what? We're going to change our mind on that one, put him back in the ball turret. Now we'll put Willis, the engineer, up in the top turret. Yeah, uh, another thing with the American campaign, you've got more, uh, got more crew than in the Lancasters. Uh, I'd still rather have, you know, at least one more crew member. Never quite has enough crew. Come on, there we go. Right. 
Let's uh, get in the air. I also start with a good amount of uh, money, so I was able to get some, uh, pretty much the best crew gear we can get at this point. So we got some decent helmets, uh, some uh, toughened leather uh, gloves and boots. And that's about all we can uh, get at this point in the game. Gears up. Selected. Armed. Yeah, the B-17 is a very pretty plane. Because we're in Tunisia, uh, or I think we're actually in Libya. So we're in Libya. Got the desert camo or the sand coloration. I do like the red trim on it. Looks nice. Fighter. get a shot of, well, on me. <laughs> One of the reasons they call it the Flying Fortress. Got a lot of guns. Alright, more enemies. Nice thing about the auto feed guns is we also don't have to worry about, you know, guys having to go reload. You just sit in their uh, gun positions and keep at it. Yeah, more fighters. <laughs> Black ahead. Like we're 
approaching our bomb run. our bomb target. Don't forget to open the doors. I've done that several times. Gotten to close them. Yeah, I already see the AA fire. We got some from offshore too. Take some pictures. That's a carrier. Carriers mean fighters. And there goes my electrical.
Really? I just fixed that. I go back down to low altitude again. Start getting a little hairy. We don't need the oxygen fixed. We're dropping down to low altitude, we don't need the oxygen. Fighters, yay! <sighs> now what's out? Hydraulics? Ah! Definitely need the hydraulics back. Can't land or control half our guns without them. Fighters, that's what we need. Don't worry, they said. Easy mission, they said. They said. Okay, maybe they fell back. Yeah, I think they're running. My bombardier's not doing anything.
Yes, there it is. Still got plenty of fuel. Got a whole eight minutes of airtime left. And we're down. Yay, we actually survived our first mission. Without getting shot down. Got a bit chewed up, though. That fuel tank's not in good shape. But, successful mission. for experience for the guys. levels out of it. <coughs> oh, we did get lean. Nice. This is a very, very handy ability. I love it. Mm, looks like we've got some new gear available, maybe? Nah, actually, that's all stuff I already had, it looks like. Oh, wait, nope. Thermal Flight Seat 2. That's a good one. Black Helmet Mark 1. Seems to get a lot for the plane, though. So, no upgrades yet, really, for the plane. Might throw in those fire extinguishers. Yep, I do all my own drawing. <laughs> If you can't tell, it's not the best. Not the best artist in the first place, let alone with uh, pixels. I got a little photography in there, so we'll put that. Uh, let's see where I want to put that. I'll put it over here.
camera in here. Nah, it's actually not where I want it. Dang it. Just a little further down. Yep, that'll do. Oops. Get some extinguishers on here. Looks like we got some training. Excellent. Uh, engineer. Yes. <laughs> that way my engineer can actually be more of a gunner. I know it sounds weird, but eh, you do what you gotta do. Alright, let's see about these new flight suits. 990 for everybody. Alright. The engineers tend to do a lot of running around. That speed boost that it gives them is pretty nice. Uh, question is, do I want to give them to my bombardier as well? Yeah, he's pretty slow. We'll give him those. I actually don't like the uh, presets. I like customizing my own. Mostly because it, you know, they detract armor from everybody. Alright, and I think that's yeah, all we can afford. Let's see what the next missions are like. I think we'll call it a day. The uh, airfield at Monserrato. That mission sucks. To find Allied tra uh, transport ship. That mission sucks. Coast Patrol. That mission sucks. They all suck. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get into them next time. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the overview, actually. See the entire base. <sighs> Not as nice as the British base. Man, yeah, it's all tense. That's still neat. And you get to see some P-51s, which are always nice. Oh, we're in Algeria. Based out of Algeria. Alright. Well, yep, uh, like I said, I think that'll do it for today. And, uh, yeah. Apparently, I can play it a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Again, uh, we'll put up the XCOM episode on Wednesday um, instead of today because of uh, that getting messed up. But yeah, don't forget to uh, like the video and uh, leave a comment if you want to. I'm always uh, happy to see those. And, uh, you know, also, uh, that's actually, let's move. This, this is kind of in the way where it's been. Um, yeah, and uh, join me on Discord, say hi there, and I'll talk to you guys later.